Okay, we're rolling. Okay, so we're talking about a raclette set here in Berlin, and uh, we looked at the setting in the back of it, it says 2,400 watts, but we realized you have to plug it in in Germany to make it work, because they're assuming that, which is a good assumption if you buy a raclette set in Germany, that you're going to use it in Germany, that's at 240 volts. We also have a power equation, P equals I delta V. Uh, what is P in that equation? That's the easy one. Just say it. Power would be right. I is current. Delta V is voltage. Good job. Then we have the other law. Yeah, Ohm's law. Wo soll man hinschreiben? Ohm. Well, I will actually. <sighs> so fine. Okay. So, immer nach oben. Ne? So we have Ohm's law, and we have the power law. Yeah. You guys agree? Yeah. Sweet. So, which ones are we given of these variables? How many variables are there? <laughs> good job. So how many are there? Four, good job. What are the four? Yeah? Those are the four, okay? Yeah. We have two equations that relate, th relate three of them. <laughs> Who's good at math? Okay, so if you have four variables, yes, yes, and you have an equation with three variables, yeah? <clears throat> How many ways can you make an equation featuring those, featuring those three variables and not featuring one of them. This is one equation that features three of our four variables. This is another equation that features three of our four variables. How many more equations can we make that feature three of the four variables? Four. Four more or four in total? Four more. Four more? Okay, that would be wrong. Four more, right? No, four in total. Four total. Four total yeah, is what, right. That's and, what I said. And, and why is four total right? Because how many of the four variables are we eliminating? Three. Four. Three. Two. One. 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 And if you have four friends and you're not going to invite one of them to paintball, how many choices do you have? Three. One. One. You have four friends. You're not counting yourself. Obviously, you're going to go yourself. So you have four friends, but you can only take three of your friends because your car only has room for four and your dad's driving or your mom, okay? So you can pick one friend you like the least. That sounds harsh. Well, this is reality, okay? I mean, not just be that's kind of this, these things work this way, right? Unfortunately, he does. Is he a is BFF or at least you think so? Hmm? Is it a mutual thing? Is it instant? Oh, you guys, you guys don't want to talk about your relationship? Okay, so four. So, we've got these two. What are the other two equations? What are the other two equations? Go. Okay, so listen up. So when I said four different equations, I meant not algebraically rearranged. For each of the four equations, you can then also write it in a variety of ways and if you have one variable on a side, those would be three different ways that each of the four equations can be written. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so some people say no. So this equation is really the same as this equation, is really the same as this equation. Right? I'm not counting those separately because those are just algebraic rearrangements of the same equation. When I meant four equations, I meant this one, and of course, you could rearrange this, right, as, or, so, yes, that's not what I meant. I meant four different equations that could then be algebraically rearranged. Kabish? Go. Delta V equals what? W. Cool. Wait a minute. 
Oh, you mean like the unit? Yeah. Yeah, you're confused. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Now, let, let's take a look here. You got P equals I delta V. Let's say I want an equation that doesn't have I in it, but has P in it. What could we do? Yes? P divided by Oh, you guys are not good at this. That's cool. I'm glad we're practicing this. Don't you guys like you guys like practicing this? Yeah. Okay, you're like, we feel bad now. So, do we have an equation that has an expression for I? Yeah. Yes. Do we have an equation that has I in it that we could plug that in for I? Yes. Good. If we did that, we take the delta V over R, we plug it in there. And that's correct. That would then be delta V squared over R. So P equals delta V squared over R. Agreed? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. That's nice. So, so we have a new equation. This one. That's just how we got there. But there is our new equation. And color, do we have color? We like color. So that was equation one. Oh, let's do Roman numeral. I like Roman numeral. Equation one. Then we had equation two. Now we have equation three. And it relates P to delta V squared over R. I'm gonna rewrite it here to just make it clear that we mean this equation right here. I'm gonna box it. Why? I like boxing. There we go. Is that good? I'm having you. You having a good time? I don't care. Okay. That and Okay, everybody okay so far? Good. Fourth time, fourth equation. Now, we've got these three equations. We'd like to have another equation that uh, has no uh, delta V in it, but P and I. P equals I times delta V. Do we have an equation yeah. for delta V that we could plug in right there? For delta V, yep. Well, you could put it I times R. I times R would work, right? So I we could say P I equals I, I times I times R. Why? Well, times R, yeah. Right? Because we took delta V, which is I R, and we substituted it in right there, and now we got P equals I times I times R. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. And then we have P equals I squared times R. And then we can box that and use Roman numeral 4 and feel special about us being good at algebra, physics, and life. Huh? <laughs> the last one. The last one's good. The last one's good. Yeah. Huh? What is that? Bio or something? STDs. STDs? That's an STD? I've never heard of it. Oh, is it? Okay, I've never heard of it. Okay. It's a medicine? Oh, good. Yay for modern medicine. We wanted to know whether the power rating that is on the raclette set is actually the power the raclette set always produces. And we know that's not true because the stupid example was, of course, we don't plug it in, power is zero. zero. And you kind of already guessed, if we plug it in America where there's 120 volts rather than 240 volts, what will happen to the power it will produce? It will decrease. That just seems natural. I mean, that totally makes sense. So when they rate it at 2,400 watts, they mean it gets 2,400 watts at 240 volts. Let's work off that to find out what they actually mean by that. Okay, we have P, we have delta V. 
What are the other things we can figure out from the, that information? The RF headset is 2400 watts at 240 volts. Yep. Current. Okay, so the current that it would produce, let's call it R of Archimedes. Oh, double subscript. You excited? I'm excited. Germany. Yes, this is the I Raclette Germany. And this is the P Raclette Germany. Oh, we can do this. G-E-R. There we go. And then delta V is delta V Raclette Germany. Good? So, how much current would our Raclette set draw in Germany? Nick? Okay. What's the equation relating current to the two quantities we have? What are the two quantities we have? We have power, we have delta V, and we'd like to know I. So we're looking for an equation that relates P, delta V, and I. Do we have an equation that relates P, delta V, and I? Okay, and what is that equation? Um, and so what I'm pointing at? Oh, yeah, so power equals like I times delta V. Correct. P equals I delta V. And we took that equation and we solved it. Ooh, we can do the whole like, uh, uh, um, should we do the Idioten type? No, I just brought you in. You're already right? Oh, no. Uh, oh, so I want to make the joke. Exactly. Oh, oh. Ohm. Ohm? Oh, I really did that. Ohm. Ohm. But this is not Ohm's law, this is power law. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to write them out. So we have the three ones written out there. We're going to write, write this one right at here, solving it for the three variables involved. We have I equals P divided by delta V. And then we also have delta V equals P divided by I. And uh, which one do we want to use? Anton? P over. P over. Your I okay? It's like Contact? Do you have contact lenses? I don't know. I wear contacts. Oh, good for you. So you have good vision. That's nice. I remember having good vision. Barely. Are you okay now? Okay. So what? we need an equation that gives us I given P and delta V. Okay, which one should we use? Mm -hmm. I can take my finger away if it helps you. Yes, correct. So it's I equals P over delta V. Now, I'm trying to plug it in. Um, so, uh, power is 2,400 watts. Yep. What's the, what's the voltage we're applying to there? Uh, 240 volts. So, how much current does the raclette set draw in Deutschland? And <laughs> 10? 10? I hope you're going to find it. Amps. Yeah, so it's 10 amps. So, good. Have we found the amount of current the raclette set always draws? No, why? I thought they were drunk. Oh. <laughs> you were right there. <laughs> so it, close. It doesn't always. It doesn't always draw that current. Like, example of when it doesn't draw that current. If it's off. If it's off, or when it's plugged in in America. Okay? So this is the current of our that set draws in Germany. Yes, yes? Yeah. Oh, no, I think we should do, um, wait. There's only one left. Oh, easy. Do the same thing again. What's the one missing? Um, R. Yes, we haven't found R yet. We found the power that set, it set it on it. We saw the voltage on the outlet. We calculated the current it draws, and now R is the fourth variable. It's four variables. So let's find R. Oh, this should be fun. My idea of fun is so weird. Okay, so we want to find the resistance of the raclette set in Germany. Yeah? This one, that's what you said, right? Yeah. yeah, that's totally cool. And now just to play devil's advocate, is that the only, I don't know if that's devil's advocate, it's actually not a very good use of the word, but 
Okay, that's not the, is that the only equation we could use to find it at this point? How many equations are there that we could use? Three. There are three, right? Did you do the math right? I think there are. So we could, have, we could use this equation, or maybe there's just two, I'm not sure. This equation would work, and we also have an equation that relates power, oh yeah, you have three, this one, right? Divided by I squared. Or this one, so there are three, correct? Any equation that's R in it, we could use because we have all the other numbers. Yes, yes? But I think this was a good choice. Yeah, because we don't have to square it. Let's be realistic. Once we square it, that's just going to be maybe not good. Right? Because we might forget. So, delta V over I. Okay. Mika, plug in. Oh, oh, oh. Just plug in, tell me what it is. 240. So 240 volts and then 10 amps. What do we get? Apples or oranges? Apples. You're wrong, try again. Oranges. Wo soll ich die Einheit hinschreiben? Nach oben? Die Einheit für is ohm. Ohm. Ohms. Okay, so that's the unit, 24 ohms. Okay? Yeah, cool, cool? Make sense? That's a long way to go for this thing. Is that going to be the same resistance everywhere or is it going to change when we plug it in in America? No. No, it changes. Okay. It's going to, are you asking me or are you telling me? No, it stays the same. No, it's going to change because of voltage. Is it going to hurt? That is another problem. Well, let's think about what resistance is. How resistant an object is to current depends on what? Yes? How thick the wires are. It's a physical property of the object, right? Resistance is a physical property of the object. So should the resistance change when we move this thing to America? No, it should be the same. So actually, they wrote this on the box. That's kind of false advertising. You could be like, hello, I didn't plug it in and produced no power. And they're like, you're a moron, right? But they actually do say at 240 volts, but this is actually the property that they should advertise. I don't know if it says it on there. I don't think it does. But this is the, the, the real property that does not change when you take the thing to America. Okay? Good. Let's see how unmelted that cheese is. Well, in, in, in Portland, Oregon, when they try to plug it in. Well, they did plug it in. It didn't work, right? Let's figure that out. Okay, so we now know. No, that it. What's that? Oh, so first of all, Germans don't don't do the whole like Todesstrafe anymore, so they kind of stop with that. Like it's a whole like one of those downsides to the Nazi thing, right? Remember? So they stopped that after. Except for East Germany did have the Todesstrafe. I think is that right? Yeah. No, only for Pizza yeah. Yeah. Okay. For only for the for, so, so Nazis. But but anyway, Germany does not execute anybody, so that couldn't happen. And they never used the electric chair. That's a very distinctly American way of killing somebody because it's kind of nasty. But anyway, the American electric chair they've got a special setup for. And do they still do it like in the I I, I I would really not like to think about intentionally electrocuting people right now. Let's think about raclette because it's a lovely thought. Not nobody dies, hopefully, and you have a lovely meal. So let's do that. Okay, so you take your 24 ohm raclette set, you take it to Portland, Oregon, and you plug it into a regular outlet. That's the situation. What is the power rating in America normally? 120 volts. So we have 120 volts. There we go, and we've got 24 ohms. Now, we've reduced the voltage by a factor of two. So the power should reduce by a factor of two. That's wrong, nice. 
You just step right on the track. No, it's five. Now you're just making numbers up. That's also wrong. Yeah. Let's actually do it. Let's actually do the calculation. So, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, it should be less, but it's not a factor of two. Now, we have delta V, yes? And what's the one thing that's consistent about the raclette set when we go there? We said the, the resistance is consistent. So those two numbers are still the same. So we have two of the four numbers for our device. We could find, we can find the other two. We're really just only interested in P, right, power, but let's find current as well. Okay. Your choice, which one do you want to find first? You want to find current or power? Your choice. Current, current is easier. Current is super easy, right? Because the current equation, yes? Wo steht die? Ohm. By Ohm Gesetzes, yeah? Okay. That's like the best joke. So. Hundred and twenty volts divided by twenty-four ohm. Ohms, actually common German mistake, is not to put um, the letter an S at the end of a unit, right? What's that? So it auf Deutsch heißt es 24 Ohm und auf Englisch 24 Ohms. So Americans put an S at the end of the unit. Germans don't. German. Well, I know when we're speaking English in Germany, we're supposed to speak proper English and not, uh, what do you call it, Deng Denglified? Denglish. Deng okay, good. So what's 220 volts divided by 24 ohms? Yeah? Five what? You mean one? Five apples or oranges? Amperes. Very good. Yeah? And we would say amperes, nicht fünf ampere, auf Deutsch fünf ampere, auf English five amperes. Okay? Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. And that is again the current in the US. This we don't have to subscript because R is the same. GS. Okay, now let's go to power. How much power would we be getting in the US out of our Rocknet set when we plug it in? Which equation you want to use? You actually have how many options? Three. There are three options, right? Okay, so we have again three friends that we all know. I, delta V, and R, but we only need two of them on uh, you know, our trip because we only have three tickets, so we can eliminate one. And there's three, aww. Maybe they, maybe they can ride their bike after the bus. Okay, so one, two, three. Which one do you want to use? You've got three power equations, you want to use this one? It's got a square, let's be realistic. We're gonna screw that up. How about this one? No, I would recommend not. not How about this one? That's good because we don't have to we don't have to actually square anything. It's going to be easier to use this. Let's do that one. So we use I US and we use delta V US and now we plug in. We plug in Larissa. Um, five. Good. Five amperes is correct. And 120 volts is correct for the U.S. And what do you get? 5 times 120? <gasps> 600. And, and what's the unit of power? Back? Watt. 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 So, 600 watts of power produced by the Rackletze. What is the power that it's producing in Germany? 2,400 watts. So by what factor has it reduced? Four. Four. Whoa, wait a minute. I thought, I thought power is proportional to voltage difference. So we have, with L, have, H-A-L-V-E, the power, uh, uh, shouldn't, uh, the voltage, shouldn't we only reduce the power by a factor of two, right? Because we reduce delta V by two. So why, why does it reduce by four? Why does the power reduce by four? I'm confused. Are you confused? Germany is small. Whoa. That is absolutely the reason. 
is actually about a quarter of the size of the U.S. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> right? It's a quarter of the population of the U.S. The population, not the area. Who cares about the area? Seriously. I mean, you know, trees don't grow. But yeah, it's, it's about the population. So it's 82 million versus 330. It's almost exactly a quarter. So, so we've reduced delta V by a factor of two, but what has happened to I? The current, it, 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 got it, it also got smaller by factor two. So when we reduce delta V, power was reduced, not just because delta V was reduced, but the reduction in delta V also affected, with A, affected I. So because I reduces by two and delta V reduces by four, two as well, the total power reduction is a factor of four, which is of course, two times two is four, okay? So, just your guesstimate of the quality of the reflect experience, if the power of your reflect set is reduced by a factor of four, how melty is the cheese? Very melty. Not, not melty at all. This doesn't work at all. Wenn man sich Amerika ein Raketset kauft, dann ist es Raketset kauft, dann ist es auf 120 Volt aufgestellt, ja, und dann ist der Widerstand kleiner. That's the trick. Hey, but listen up. This is a little known trick. American households actually have 240 volts available to them. Did you know this? No. They just don't. So in American households, they sometimes use weird plugs. And they kind of look like an alien. That's what the plug looks like. And have you ever seen that by any chance? Oh, it's yeah. only used on washing machines ovens. and sometimes ovens. That's correct. High power devices will sometimes run on 240 volts. So in the basement, normally you bring 240 volts into the home and then they split it into 120 volts, 120 volts. Well, we haven't talked about how to split voltage, but you could do that. And um, you see, so that, that was their workaround. They had a gigantic uh, extension cord to their basement and jerry-rigged a plug to make it work because they didn't want to get the reflect in the basement. That's really not, not a fun experience. But they were able to do it then later because they did have 240 volts in the house. Any questions? Yo. Uh, why didn't the Americans just build 240 um, volts? Uh, Plugs everywhere in their house. Why don't Amer why does America switch to 240 volts? Yeah, why? Because they don't even like like that. They don't even know it exists. They don't even know what they're missing, right? All right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Different priorities. But anyway, 120 volts, 240 volts doesn't really matter. You just have to adjust the equipment. You can buy a like that set in America. You just have to get an American for the producer of the American market. I think we're out of time, aren't we? There we go. So cool. All right. Is this still running?